What's up guys, how y'all doing? Welcome to another video. We're gonna be checking out how to fix a Dewalt drill, or at least tear it apart and see what's wrong with it. I have a feeling it's the motor. Basically what happens is this thing will basically take off and sometimes it works good and sometimes it'll bellow smoke, bellow tons of smoke out the back of this. So my hint, or at least my inkling, is that the brushes in the motor are toast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tear this thing apart and we're gonna get inside there. If that sounds like something that you'd like to see, stay tuned because it's coming up right here, right now on M.I. Sperry. Okay, so first thing we need to do is de-energize this bad boy and get the bot tree out of it. Now, it's gonna use at least this Dewalt drill. Uh, let's see, what kind is it? It is a DC983. This has seen a lot of work. It's seen a lot of work. This is actually from back in the day when I used to be an electrician. Carried this guy along with some other Milwaukee's and whatnot. Uh, this one was a good drill, but I think the brushes have finally seen better days. So what we have to do is take it apart. I'm gonna be using a, let's see, a Torx T10. Oh, 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 get in there, T10 to take this thing apart. So what we're gonna do is we'll just take these screws. I'm gonna take the gearing apart because you have to take the whole schmear apart to get in here. So how these drills generally work is they have a brushed DC motor in them. I don't know if anybody watches uh, Ave, if they watch his channel, um, he tears drills and stuff apart all the time. I suggest if you haven't seen his channel, definitely go check it out. It is totally worth the viewing pleasure. He says some of the greatest uh, euphemisms and lines and stuff. It's just, it's, he's just entertaining to watch. So I highly recommend his channel. Uh, check it out. I'll see if I can't maybe put a link down below in the description because it is pretty darn funny. All right, so here we go into the meat of her here. So there we go. And that's that part. Ooh, this is gonna get schmooey. So I don't feel like washing my hands. So we're gonna get some gloves on to deal with all the goop. Like he says, all the schmoo. All right, so let's dig this out. This is the gearbox. Notice all the gear grease and goop that's in it. So that's what this is. This is the gearbox. Um, it's basically like a transmission, essentially. Ooh, except I'm gonna knock all the gears out, which would be bad because it's all clustered. Well, we'll put that back together here in a minute. Uh, in any case, I'll go ahead and wipe my hands off here. All right, so now that's what we need to get out is the motor. Now the motor's in there pretty good, so we'll have to take the back off of this. I don't know if I have to take the clamshell apart or not, but we'll see. So we'll get some of these screws out of here. See if we can't get this out. But basically what I think has happened is one of the brushes has cracked inside of this thing. And that's why it's just letting out the magic smoke uh, every now and then. And it sparks a whole ton. Now, it'll always spark because it's a brushed DC motor. Funny story about that. Um, I don't know if many of you know, but I actually work in the power industry. <clears throat> And there was an interesting story behind a generator one time. Now, most great big huge generators that you see that power like cities and homes and stuff, um, some of them, depending on what they are, uh, if they're a GE or a Westinghouse or what they are, they are uh, cooled, the motor is actually cooled by hydrogen gas. Yes, I said hydrogen, hydrogen gas, the stuff the Hindenburg was made out of. So yes, it was, it is actually, ooh, there we go. See, see all that all that carbon uh, stuff that's in there, that looks indicative of brushes. So, guessing that these are toast. So, in any case, yeah, they're, they're right there. We may, we may take the brushes off to see what we can do with it, see if we can get this out. Now, doesn't look like, doesn't look like it's gonna wanna come out. So, what we're gonna do is we'll have to take the clamshell part. More screws! Well, anyway, back to my story. What we were doing is uh, I was out there uh, checking out the plant uh, due to my job, and uh, we were talking to one of the guys, and they said one of the craziest things they ever saw was these guys literally blew up the unit, like exploded it, like boom, you know, like a bomb. And he said what happened 
was normally following normal procedure, which this will be a story to always follow your procedures. But anyway, um, the, the guys, what they normally should do is evacuate the chamber where the, uh, let's pretend that this is the generator, where the uh, generator is, they're supposed to evacuate the chamber with uh, CO2. So they reclaim the hydrogen, they usually put a vacuum on it, pump it down, and then they evacuate the chamber with uh, CO2, which CO2 is a, a non-flammable gas, it's what's in pop and things like that. And they're supposed to do that for safety. And then that way, if they drop a hammer or something, create a spark, it doesn't blow up like the Hindenburg. So <clears throat> what happened <laughs> was these geniuses that were working on this particular unit decided that they didn't want to do that because that, that procedure takes a long time. And so we, we don't want to have to you know, take any more time than, than we need to, right? We got to get this fixed. We got to get it fixed fast. So come up with a brilliant idea. If we open up the bay, we open up all the garage doors and everything where lots of air can get through, we'll just open up the vents on the unit and then we'll just put a fan in front of the main porthole and we'll just blow the, uh, the, the gas out of it and it'll just go out into the atmosphere and hydrogen is fairly abundant so it shouldn't hurt anything. It's not really that toxic. You know what the problem was? What they put in there if we can get this apart. There we go. What they put in there was something kind of like this. It was a brushed fan. And like I said, brushed fans create sparks. And so what happened was it sparked, it blew up, and it was bad news for the people that were there. That was uh, more or less a tragedy. So, note to self. Remember, brushed motors do spark. Now, Aside of that gruesome story, let's see if we can't get these little contacts out. Let me get a screwdriver. It's got these little like stake-on terminals. Yeah. Get it out of there. Come on. There we go. There's one. So red's on the right. Whatever this color is, was it gray? It's gray. Ugh, get that off of there. Oh, that plate comes off with it. Alright. So this little plastic do. There we go. So there it is. There's the motor. That's what causes all the noise. I can feel some cogging in it. So it may be a deal that I may just have to replace the brushes. So let's let's see. So if you see this, there's a spring, like a tension spring here that keeps tension on the brush so it stays against the commutator segment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can't lift that up. Get maybe get the get the brush out. Maybe. There we go. I think I got it. Come on, baby. Get that brush out without tearing it up. Oops, sorry, Here, sorry, you guys can't see what I'm doing. Maybe I can get it out. Maybe I can't. Oh, there we go. There it is. There it is. I don't know. That brush looks great. Well, it's awfully worn on the side. See, look at that. They're usually supposed to have like a half moon. See, look at that. It's like, it's, you know, I don't know. Can you see that? It's like worn down to the hub. Yeah, that brush I think is, I think that's toast. I don't think, it doesn't look like you can replace them. Uh, look replaceable? I don't think it is. Well, a lot of these are just throwaway parts. Let's look at the other one. Let's see if we can get the other one out of here. Do the same thing to this other one. Come on. Sometimes these retention springs are pretty, pretty hefty. Fairly impressed. Come on. Come on, dude. Oh, come on, dude. There we go. I got it. Pull this puppy out. All right. Oh, yeah. Look, look at that. I don't know if you can see this. I'll try to get it as close as I can and probably turn on some sort of a light. Um, but the whole side of this is chipped off. There's our problem. This one was probably the worst offender. The whole corner is actually gone. So, yeah, I think this has probably, ooh, look at that. I don't know if you can see in there. The commutator segments just look like crap. Yeah, you can't really see in there. I wish I had a, had a light. Yeah, the commutator segments are toast. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 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 done for. It's done for, I believe. So, 
what we're gonna do, I may look and see if, well, I don't know, this might be, see if that I might be able to replace, ooh, wait, the whole thing comes out. Oh, so we might be able to replace these. I didn't notice that at first. All right, you just pry this, pry this out. The whole thing comes out. Shucks, I may be able to look at that. Look at all the, see all that goop? That's from grease and dirt and uh, chunks of brush. That's what that is. So yeah, ugh. Well, I might be able to get on the internet and find it, but see, look how dirty those commutators are. I might be able to soak this in something, uh, get all the goop off of that, and those commutators might be able to be salvaged. It looks like the uh, wires are still on it. So that's what I'll probably do. Either that or I'll just buy a new motor. I think these motors are only like 30, 40 bucks. So depending on how much these little, these little brushes are, uh, I, may, I may just replace the brushes and clean this up, you know, if the brushes are cheap. Uh, so that's basically how you take apart a drill. Probably fairly simple. That's how you get the motor out of it. Uh, the little, little gearbox here and all that stuff. So guys, hopefully if you like this, tell me what, let me know down in the comments. If you like these videos, these, these uh, DIYs with MIs, definitely let me know. And we will see you in the next video. Take care guys.